And we'll, after all that excitement of the extra time, we'll get to half time in this game and I'll talk you through the rest of the, of the divisions. So just to let you know who has won what or where they stand at the moment for their fifth test. And we'll get some results from the other fields, three, four and five for you shortly as well. So back here now with Australia on the attack. We saw these girls here yesterday on our live stream coverage as well. And I think that was the game the Australians won to take it to a 2-1. That's right, Billy. They, that was the game where they scored right on the hooter. The last play of the match, they got an intercept and uh, scored inside the box. And they won it 5-4. Correct. Turned the result of the match in the final play of the match. So it's a very exciting finish. He's going to put themselves under a lot of pressure in his opening uh, stanza here in the few, first few minutes. Already given away two penalties inside their zone. And they're, and they're just a... A forced pass that really didn't have to be forced there, causing a silly error and gifting the ball back to Australia deep inside New Zealand territory. Yeah, so Jamie Lee bright there with just the ball and Murdy goes to dummy half and here's another penalty. So we've got the markers now. I just hope that this is not going to be a penalty a thon. We just see a little bit of play from this local Kiwi referee. Do you know his name, Rusty? Oh, this whatever young it is, out there. he loves that whistle, I can tell you that much. Murdy. Goes out wide now with the girls. The number two, Margaret Vella. Yes, uh, and see, there we go again, mate. There's another penalty. It's the fourth penalty uh, in three minutes, so he's uh, certainly uh, not afraid to blow that whistle. So here we go. The Aussies going right through Hanin Zarika. Fires the ball out. They come back. That's Hanin again. Oh, a bit of a contact there on Jamie Lee Bright. That was a big one. So I can't force that penalty. Yep. That was a real whack in the hip. Yeah, so Hanin Zarika again with the ball. Ducks and weaves trying to go through in the middle of the field. Looking for that bonus box. Murdy. Wow, the cutout pass was on. Had they have gone wide then to the 16 in Hannah. So New Zealand here will be looking to consolidate and get out of their, uh, out of their quarter now after... Weathering the storm, so to speak, there with uh, seven sets for Australia inside New Zealand Territory. And so New Zealand really just needs to get to a kick here. Try and get down inside Australian Territory. And as we said in this earlier match as well, we have a wind coming from your left to right on screen. Behind the New Zealanders, who are running north to south. With a, with a gentle breeze behind them, that is uh, certainly an advantage if they can get hold of it and get their kick away. So that ball is ricocheted off an Australian player, not played at, but now it is played at, and it goes into touch. New Zealand's ball there with the Australian there. Yeah, Hannah unfortunately couldn't hold that ball. <laughs> so this is the first opportunity for the New Zealand girls. In Australia's half. Just looking a little bit flat there, Billy. That they're going to get a little bit of depth. These girls. Oh, and there we see that slippery surface. A couple of divots come out then. Just a poorly executed attempt at a grubber there by Tuati Reid for New Zealand. Unable to execute their kick cleanly. There was Murdy there yeah, having a go. Looking like a bit of pace there, Lauren Murty. Yeah, we, we talked about her yesterday, Rusty, saying she has got some pace and she's always in the thick of the play. Another cliche there for you. So. New Zealand who needs to just tidy up on a couple of their, their little skills around the ruck and particularly with their offside, their marking. So a nice sidestep then by Carla Cowan. 
to pick up some extra meters, and that's her again coming out of dummy half. And now offloading the Faith Cooper. So the Aussie girls now on the attack in the New Zealand half. Passing left. Inside pass now, and another inside pass to the number four in Riley McKay. So, Sarah Demich. Oh, she almost takes the ball back. Puts a little kick through there for herself. Yesterday she had the knee bandaged up, but today, no. Yeah, she's one of the standout players from Australia. Yesterday's performance as well, uh, Billy. She was an integral playmaker for the Australians yesterday as well. It's TJ Noble for New Zealand, bring, trying to bring the ball forward then. Uh, just looking at Sarah Demich, she's do, she still has that right knee wrapped up, but it's in skin colored tape today where yesterday it was in the white tape so the girls now from new zealand giving that ball a bit of air with a big 15 meter wide pass but still shut down very quickly by the australian girls moving up off that line in a straight line so when you have a look at it with these girls at this moment australia have still dominated the first few minutes of this game and when you have a look at the results it was new zealand new zealand drawn game australia so it was as if australia started to come back and say well, right we can dominate this just slow out of the blocks in the first two games yeah, so it's, it's australia with momentum mates and new zealand have got to knock that on the head it's right there and uh, just a little fumble from australia at the play of the ball there but uh yeah new zealand starting to settle down a little bit now they gave away a rash of penalties at the start there's seven and seven in total so far they've given away so they really need to consolidate their, uh, their basic skills here. We've got to break down the left-hand wing by the, uh, by the New Zealanders there. And it's uh, Monica Va'ai. She has another standout for New Zealand yesterday, scoring a two tries in that game yesterday afternoon. And a real handful for the Australian defence she was. And there she is again taking an inside pass, but shut down very quickly. And she there, there she is again. Yeah, good footwork. Round one, tries to go round two, but no. Just still, they just seem a little bit um, flat for my liking. Billy, they just need to get a little bit deeper than New Zealand's side here. The cut out pass. Out there, touched by Australia. I tell you what, it was on, Rusty. It was a cut out pass. Now, just say, is it Leishon? Leishon, yes. Albert Jones. Yeah, she's, uh, she's only 19 years old as Leishon, and uh, she's uh, played for the last two years in the senior women's club for Auckland as well. Plays in the Auckland... Um, um, Provincial side as well for the representative side in the, in the national championships. So experienced young player as well, Lashan. Oh, nice Inside little pop pass. It's at uh, Moana Kia Va'ai again. She's uh, certainly one of their runners they're trying to target. And good finisher for the, for the under 20 New Zealand side. So. Zarika doing a lot of work there. Okay, what? Zarika got the tag off. She looked at the referee, but he said no, she was still okay. But fortunately, she was shut down anyway. And here's a New Zealand try. She's got the tags. I thought she got the ball down. Now, Australia is holding the tag up saying tag, but I'm, I'm with the referee. I thought she got the ball down before the tag was taken. And so it's a nice try to New Zealand. First try of the match. 1-0. And Doug. Uh, it's a big effort from New Zealand after weathering that Australian storm where Australia had probably 80 to 90% of the possession in that first 10 minutes. So after coming through that first 10, New Zealand there to open the scoring of the match and taking the lead 1-0. Yeah, poor pass from New Zealand there. The receiver didn't really have much chance of taking that. Just poorly executed pass. And again, just little basics of uh, let New Zealand down in this uh, opening uh, half. Australia now in great field position here. Three rucks left in the set here for Australia. 
some nice ball movement there in the lateral for Australia. This is a nice move here. <laughs> nice work from Australia there with uh, trying to hit Sierra Demachigi coming back on the inside on the short ball. Bad miss from the New Zealand uh, number two there. Sarah Tongatuki there. She'd be very disappointed with her defence there. That was a, a simple, simple play. So she'd be very upset with herself there. Australia tying up the game at one all. Australia here just uh, coming out of their territory here. They won't look to do anything silly. And this is what's been uh, characteristic about the Australians. They can play very well structured when they need to. Retain position. And continue to applying the, uh, continue to apply the pressure on the on the New Zealand teams. Yeah, New Zealand again giving away another penalty. Just a little bit uh, loose with some of their work around the ruck in particular. And their lines that they're using on defence. Shutting down the attackers. Closing off attackers, closing the hole. They really need to tidy that area up or they're going to continue to give away sets and um, possession to Australia. And Cammy Ball, she's been a huge... Um, Force on defence for New Zealand there. She's in everything. It's 77, Cammy Ball. So, last tag for the Australians. They're just inside the Kiwis' half. There goes the kick. Nerdy chasing. It's uh, Monakia Va'ai. As we said, one of the standout attackers and finishers for New Zealand there. So, a good tag there by Cassie Oyeda. Then LaShawn. LaShawn, nice kick for herself. Will it bounce up? Yes, it does. Nice yard, it's there. The late tag. Now, the penalty is actually where the player picked the ball up. That's good. They're going back up to that now. So, just a one-off settle then. Five tags up their sleeve. 15 metres out. The Kiwi's on the attack. So, now, overlap here if they get it out quickly. But Murdy shuts that one down with a nice tag, a double tag. So New Zealand girls go left through LaShawn. Nice bullet pass. Straight on the chest. Yeah, LaShawn's got some lovely skills about her as a, as a half. Plays for the Richmond Club here in Auckland as a, as a halfback. And the girls are throwing the ball, giving it plenty of air, trying to be very creative, and there's a spilt ball. Unfortunate knock-on. Very dirty with herself on that. Oh, there's a nice run. And a contact on the way too. As Abby Gillum took the ball up. And what have we got here? Referee sending them back. Take that again. Dimmage. Still plenty of time left in this half there. Just over five minutes. Murdy. Dummies tries to go herself, but she shut down straight away, right on the halfway line. No, that kick's too high. Sarah Demich there, kicking high. Referee playing advantage, but nope, none there. So he'll come back to where the kick was taken and the New Zealand girls will be back in possession. You can see Kiwis are doing multiple change, interchange, so there's no girls there to run the ball. Here they come. So a bit of cloud coming over now, which is giving us a bit of reprieve here. Not only us in the commentary, but the players. Because that sun was really beaming down on us before. 
Nice tag there from Australia. Back to one. So Australia knocking the ball down there with a bit of overzealous defence there and uh, gifting Australia New Zealand another another set of six. Good defence by Australia there, pushing up on those players, those players out wide. And Sarah Visic again, just uh, very busy at dummy half there, making those easy tags and close. And there it is for her, she's just been very sharp. That's four, four tags in a row for her. Great set of D there at dummy half. At, at marker, I should say. Oh, oh, that's a whack in the head. It's accidental, but it was a knee in the head. And she knocked on in the process of it. She certainly did, and uh, New Zealand there with another set. The kick wasn't the best, but it uh, worked out uh, quite fruitful for the New Zealanders there, getting another set inside the Australian half now as half time approaches. As the score's locked up at 1 all. Oh, show and go, almost through. Luckily, too, because she lost the ball and it was only saved. Cammy ball, she was only saved by being tagged. There's the grubber kick through. That is off Sarah Demich. That no, was Carla Cowan. Saved the day there. Australia, they're just safely bringing it out. They'll be looking to get to their kick very shortly now. This will be the fourth, I believe. All right, now, Zurika. That kick's okay. It is, it's looking pretty good there. It's just gone short of the 10 meter. So New Zealand will, will uh, retain, uh, regain position here. inside the last two minutes now. So this game too, Rusty, couldn't be any more even. New Zealand leading 2-1, one drawn game. It's one all. That's a forward pass. It's a forward pass, but they're playing on. And it was Zurika who saved the day in the end, but the Kiwis now on the attack. The Australian side, probably offside, but the referee says, no, you've run far enough. Yep. They're ready to go. Leishon goes to the right, on her own, can't get there. And no, he did. The referee did say penalty. He was playing an advantage. But I tell you what, the girls might not have wanted that. I think they were nearly going into the try on the right-hand side. But we play now. They go to the left. There's a monarchy of eye. One of the stars of yesterday's game. They're not afraid to pass the ball, the Kiwi girls. Oh, there's no one-offs, mate. They are just giving that ball. They're passing at every opportunity, trying to create something. Knocked down there. That'll be six again. There you go. Unfortunately, you don't want that. And that was Laura Roger. And, it's the Huda and that's there. right on the half-time. Now, he'll allow to play the ball. This is it. Going herself. Oh, oh. she's throwing the ball. And that was... Oh. Monica. Oh, there for, um... Monica. Yeah, that Threw was, uh... that pass. Jordan. And it was Mahi just Boy. behind her. Huge hole opened up there with Moana Kia with the eye going through that hole. But her pass was a little off target behind her runner. And uh, unfortunately for New Zealand, that went to ground. But a big, 